Hey everyone, it's Jamafu and I'm really excited today because I'm going to teach you how to go from not being sure about who you are to finding your identity in Christ. This is a two-week course, six videos in total, and I'll break down everything you need to know about finding your identity. The videos aren't too long, you'll get quite a bit of value from them. All you have to do is follow along. If you don't know much about me, my name is Jamafu. I'm a child of God, husband to my beautiful wife. I disciple and coach men through the Majoring Men program, an initiative of the Christian Men's Network, which ministers to men all over the world. I've held leadership positions in corporate, ministry, sports, and student development initiatives such as Enectus, formerly students in free enterprise. I run the Motivated to Inspire Motivation website with a global viewership aimed at motivating and inspiring people to be the best versions of themselves. I also contribute guest posts to Addicted to Success, one of the world's top personal development websites. I also come from a computer science background with a focus on digital marketing related work. I work with various clients, helping them build an online presence. Now in life, it's important to understand who you are as a person. You've probably heard of people suffering from an identity crisis before, and this is a result of them not being secure about themselves. It's often associated with confusion about how you should live your life and the lack of confidence to some degree. Who am I is a question that begs for an answer because it's that important as you endeavor to do great things in life. This is the main reason I created this two week course to help you answer that question. More often than not, when we meet people for the first time, one of the main questions we ask them is, what do you do? I'm sure the same has happened to you and probably your response had to do with your profession. I'm a doctor, I'm a lawyer, I run a small business, I'm a law student at such and such a university. These are some of the common responses I've come across myself. It's sort of like a badge of honor to be someone making a valuable contribution to society. Even at a personal level, we associate money and shelter as a form of security. According to Maslow's hierarchy of needs, these are actually some of the basic needs we all share as human beings and are therefore an important part of our lives. Naturally, we want to take it a step further and have not just any house, but a nice one in a nice suburb, lots of money in the bank, and perhaps going to beautiful holiday destinations. I tend to see this trend more among men since by nature they are, they are providers. They want to flex their muscles in, in a way. This is what some would call living their best lives, right? From another perspective, some people identify with how good they look, the nice clothes, looks, makeup, etc. This is what gets them going. It almost drives them crazy when they're not able to, to reach a certain standard. But what if all those things were taken away from you almost overnight? If you lost your job, perhaps, or you failed to complete your studies because you ran out of funds or the finances to support that endeavor. How about if your house got raised to the ground by fire? And God forbid, but what if you got involved in an accident that disfigured your face? What then? What would that mean to you? If our lives were based on things that change like that, then would, we would all be awfully miserable human beings, don't you think? Some of some of uh, these things come and go in, in, in life. Seasons of life come and go all the time. However, your value as a person doesn't change because of the seasons you go through. One of the most important reasons for knowing your true value is to avoid comparisons with other people. When you're going through a rough patch, the default reaction is usually to compare your situation with someone else's highlights. Doing that is usually a recipe for depression, envy, and other forms of evil. The truth is that you are just in different seasons and that your good times will also come. That kind of posture gives you peace of mind. And having a good appreciation of who you are gives you a sense of security that is free of comparison and feelings of worthlessness. Without a good appreciation of who you are as a person, you'll wind up feeling like this guy here. This is the type that is double-minded and never achieves anything significant, unfortunately. By doing this, you also open yourself up to abuse by other people when you're like that. This is why finding your identity in Christ is so important. 
So what does a positive sense of identity look like? This is what this course, Identity Demystified, seeks to address and help you to understand. Understanding your identity can help you realize who you really are instead of having a mixed perspective that is based on external factors. In this course, we will examine what identity is, why it matters, key attributes for prioritizing things in the right order, and how to work on being secure in who you are. There are three main steps in the process of understanding your identity. The first one, identifying yourself with Jesus Christ and renouncing worldly ways of living. Submitting to his lordship is the second thing, which entails total surrender of your will and desires to his. In other words, you intentionally choose to do what he requires of you instead of doing whatever you want and expecting him to bless it. God is not obliged to finish or to complete what he has not ordered in your life. It's important to remember that. And the third thing is living by his principles. The more you live your life according to his commandments and truths found in his word, the more prosperous you will be. It's far simpler than trying to twist his word to make it fit your lifestyle. There are all these steps that are going to help you get there, and I'm going to break them down over the next two weeks, where I teach you how to go step by step in finding your identity in Christ. There are some action items for you as well. Each week, you will have some tools, including worksheets, downloadable assets, and other action points. So I want you to go to motivatedtoinspire.com slash training, where you can find all these lessons and handouts. All you have to do is click on Identity Demystified, and you'll see all the material there. And each video that I post is roughly 10 minutes or less, and that way you can get everything you need really quickly. It's actionable. And as long as you follow the worksheets, you should start seeing results pretty quickly. Make sure you take your time. There's no rush. This course doesn't expire. It's free. Just take your time to do it. If you don't have the time today to do it today, you can do it tomorrow or another day. But by the end of the course, you'll be confident about finding your identity and you'll be secure about who you are in Christ. You'll also know how to model your life according to the right principles in order to maximize your potential. As I mentioned, there's always materials with each video lesson. You can find them at motivatedtoinspire.com slash training. Click on Identity Demystified and you'll find them there. Thank you very much. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe. That's where you get the rest of the lessons. And when I say subscribe, I'm talking about subscribing on Facebook, YouTube, wherever you're watching from this. It doesn't cost a dollar to watch this course or any of these lessons. It's fully free. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Tell your friends about this course. I'm here to help you grow and succeed. Thank you for your time.